and good morning good evening good afternoon students and traders all around the world this is mike the fx boss broadcasting you live on youtube and other streaming platforms happy wednesday how is everybody yes the new <laughs> the new background it's not really new you know it's just I was searching the, the computer and I was seeing all the different backgrounds from the past years. And today what do we have? Rules for trading the three Fibonacci's part four. All right, everybody. Yesterday we are talking about the slides. Today let's do a let's do let's try to find the fibonacci trade right everybody type in the chat a currency pair that you want to make a fibonacci trade you can choose AUDCAD, AUDCHF, AUDJPY, AUDNZD, AUDUSD, Canada CHF, Canada JPY, CHF JPY Euro AUD, Euro CAD, Euro CHF, Euro GBP, Euro JPY, Euro New Zealand, Euro Dollar, GBP AUD, GBP CAD, GBP CHF, GBP JPY, GBP NZD, GBP USD, NZD CAD, NZD CHF, NZD JPY. NZD USD, USD CAT, USD CHF, and USD JPY. First comes, first is served, everybody. YouTubers, choose student traders on YouTube, please type in the chat. First comes, first is served. Served, type in the chat the currency pairs. And today, everybody, I'm the student. You are the teacher, all right? Exactly. Today I'm the student, you are the teacher. No, there is no right or wrong. Well, CHF JPY may be not the best but because of the monthly band and talking about the Fibonacci everybody, AUD, NZD, Euro, GBP, hello Sam, how are you? Not tradable, AUD, NZD, it's not tradable with the Fibonacci's, USD, CHF, it's not tradable with the Fibonacci's. Euro GBP, it's not tradable with the Fibonacci's. Yeah, we've learned all of this. Fibonacci in consolidation doesn't work, right? Yes, more about the Fibonacci techniques in the Fibonacci mastery. Boss, if I join you on Forex course 202, do I have the Fibonacci mastery for free? Well, we can talk about this if you want. We can talk about that. Hedge fund trader Sam, would you be so kind and choose a pair? And today I am the student, you are the teachers. I'm not sure if I have a 20 second delay on the chat. In the meantime, everybody, what you're trying to do, you're trying to go from zero to a millionaire trader in three years, all right? In an institutional way. What is the institutional way? First, the analyst. 
first the analyst then the trader we are not trying to do anything special here you are just trying to comprehend how an analyst forex course 101 grows into a professional trader forex course 202 in an institutional way make sense learn the basics then how sophisticated you want to get you know on something it's up to you euro dollar all right euro dollar euro dollar everybody j forex 4 and let's find let's find euro dollar Let's find Euro Dollar for our chart. Maybe do we have do we have for our chart? Oh, it's up and down, right? For our chart. All right, I'm going to do it quickly, Sam. Don't worry. Just give me a second. Uh, we have all right. We have both of them. So I just I'm going to do it quickly. I need to see if the market is going to break the four hour chart. So from here to here and then white goes to white here and did it break? Did it break, break, break? Yes it did, alright. Break, so starting from up in here we're going to chart just quickly just briefly everybody the four hour Fibonacci left click we're going to go original and we're going to do it like this one more time original and there you go ABCDs Fibonacci not a low, that's the low, green goes to green, Bonacci on the 4 hour chart, low, not sure about this low, I'm going to check high, which one, that's the high, and down in here, no, that's not a low, there you go, that's the low, and blackjack. Yes, more about the blackjack in the Fibonacci mastery. So the four hour Fibonacci went from here to here, all right? All right. Everybody, you are the teacher, I'm the student. So this is the original Fibonacci on the Euro dollar four hour chart. That's the A, that's the B. That's the C somewhere, ABC, and down in here, that's the D. All right? So I'm the student today, and I'm going to ask you, boss, what Fibonacci should we trade? So you have the four hour Fibonacci. Everybody, if you want to participate, you have the, you have the, Daily Fibonacci, contrarian one, and on the daily chart, the contrarian still making a low, right? So you have the daily Fibonacci original one going up. Boss, you are the boss today. And you have the confirmation Fibonacci going up on the daily, all right? Yes, one more time. You have the original A, B, C going up on the daily. You have the confirmation going up on the daily. And you have the contrarian going down on the daily. 
Sam is asking if the projected extension of the A should we start the Fibonacci from the 4th start. Generally you start from the A, right? So everybody, give me a second. Now I'm the student. Should we short the four hour euro dollar Fibonacci, original one? Yeah, today I'm asking the question. Should we buy the original one on the daily? Should we buy the confirmation on the daily? Should we short the contrarian on the daily? And on the weekly? the weekly well may maybe just to have fun right we are not going to really do this but just to have fun you know should we short the big daily ABC or should we short the Should we buy the contrarian on the weekly, the white one, or should we short the confirmation on the weekly? Now you have it everybody, what should we do? Let's make a poll. Student on, students on YouTube, please participate. Which one should we trade? You are the boss, I'm the student, so far, so, so far, only Sam is active on YouTube, hedge fund trader Sam, I mean boss, Sam you are the boss today, boss, which Fibonacci should we buy or sell? And there is no right or wrong. Yes, you have the option, the 4 hour chart, original is down, on the daily you have the original is going up, the contrarian is going down, the confirmation is going up, and you have on the weekly, the contrarian is going up, and the confirmation is going down. I thought, yeah, I thought it was today, the Fibonacci, the Forex trading week, but it's not. No, there is no right or wrong. We are trying to implement the rules for trading the three Fibonacci's to understand probabilities. Pick one everybody. There is no right or wrong. I'm the student today, you are the teacher. I have a comments already, but student traders on YouTube, any idea on what Fibonacci to trade on Euro Dollar? The 4 hour Fibonacci, the daily Fibonacci's, or the weekly Fibonacci's? Which one? Any idea? 
monthly, maybe not monthly. I mean, not that it's wrong, but you know, it's too big. We are trying to understand alignments and we're trying to put into practice the rules. Difficult question. All right. Let me help everybody talking about long term general direction. Are you better positioned if you are selling euro dollar? Or are you better positioned if you are buying euro dollar? Talking about general direction long term. What do you think? Look at the chart, right? Oh, boy. And I'm not sure did OBS stopped. Are we still here, everybody? Stop record, stop. We are here, right? Everybody, can you see my screen, hear my voice? Sam is saying we have to short the confirmation weekly because the confirmation is stronger than the contrarian is stronger. All right, very good. And all right. Boss, can we enter right now? Where should we put the stop loss? Where should we put the take profit? Mace says yes. Sam says sorry, the last one was weaker. So one more time everybody. I'm the student, you are the boss. Which Fibonacci do you want to trade? Do you want to trade the weekly, the daily or the 4 hour? No, there is no right or wrong. You can you can short the daily too, right? Sam says we should be selling. Very good. Is anybody here who want to short the market on the daily? Is anybody here who want to short the market on the 4 hour? You can, you can short the weekly, so if you agree that selling, you can short the weekly, you can also short the daily, right? Daily chart. Can you see this one?
we can project it. Uh, the market must form a high, but so far we can project it right from here to here. I don't know if the market is going to form a low. So we need one more candle to be higher. Then this is going to be the new. All right. So everybody, if I chart from here to here, I need to change colors because this is the confirmation. Does this look like familiar to you? This is the confirmation Fibonacci and this is the confirm... well I need to really start up in here not to double guess So this is the confirmation Fibonacci and the confirmation but if I do something like this do you recognize this one? What would this be from the daily standpoint? Yes, it's practice, practice, practice. Everybody, if you like the Fibonacci, come to the Fibonacci mastery. So what's the A on this one? 109812. 109, 109, 109, 809, 812. What is the A on this one, on the weekly? So yeah, I'm going to help you. So this one is the custom red. This is the daily, this is daily, daily contrarian Fibonacci on the weekly chart. This one. And we can put daily a whoops is the daily sub a right sub a because it's the contrarian daily sub a not this one let's make it smaller all right right click clone and that's the daily so far edit label daily sub b So again, I'm the student here. Boss, what should we trade? Should we trade the weekly confirmation Fibonacci or should we trade the daily contrarian Fibonacci? What should we do? By the way, the daily original is this one that's the daily original one boss I don't get it for better understanding before making a decision, we are plotting different Fibonacci's from different time frames on the weekly chart. All right? Why are we doing this? Because not a lot of you out there have enough patience 
So wait for one, two, three, four, one month, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two months, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not a lot of you are prepared or wish to, are ready to wait for three months for the market to reverse. Fair enough. As a matter of fact, 80% of you in the Forex course 2, two, you are choosing the smaller time frames. Sam, are you trading from the weekly chart? Everybody who is online, are you demo trading from the weekly chart? See everybody, if you are trading for real or demo trading on a, on a demo, but if you are not doing from the weekly chart, this lesson, you know, it's useless for you. Make sense? Boss, what do you mean? Try to apply what you are doing in real life. You know, don't say, oh, let's go on the weekly because the weekly, you are not trading like this. Fair enough. Talking about being fair. That's why I'm trying to show you, all right, nothing wrong. This is the weekly Fibonacci, confirmation going down, but you have the daily too. I'm telling you everybody from the last five years or it's maybe already we're in 2024 so for the last six years me actively coaching traders 80% of you are on the one hour chart two hour chart four hour chart and the daily Make sense? In a group of 10 students, 8 are going to be on the smaller time frames. 1, maybe 2, are going to be on the daily and the weekly. But nonetheless, this is a lesson, hedge fund trader, hedge fund trader, Sam said, weekly, all right, boss, can we enter right now? Everybody, I'm going to delete this one, this is just for you to see the daily, all right, out. No, there is no right or wrong. Hedge fund trader Sam and everybody else. Hedge fund trader Melissa, the two of you are my boss. Boss, can we short the market right now? Or should we short the market right now? Can we short the market right now? Should we short the market right now? Type in the chat, please. Yes or no and type in the chat where is the take profit and where is the stop loss boss what's the problem with the weekly Time, time is the problem. Most of you got get bored. Oh, it takes too much time, it takes too long. I want to make money quicker. The C is confirmed by the original, so
the scene is confirmed not on the weekly chart not on the weekly chart oh the the, the this one let me see and which one which one which one is this a high everybody what's the what's the high one one oh oh eight eight one one oh oh nine very good so the contrarian goes from here to here yes the c is confirmed We talked about a lot of everybody don't get too attached to conformed C's. Nothing wrong with the conformed C's, but don't wait just for the conformed C's. Why not? Well, because it's going to be 2082 before you make any money. <laughs> You are right, I'm trading the 4 hour chart, see? Thanks for being honest. Now, would you trade this one on the 4 hour chart? Would you trade your dollar on the 4 hour chart? Everybody, let me teach you a trick from the Fibonacci Mastery, all right? Do you want to learn a trick? Talking about Fibonacci's? From the Fibonacci Mastery course? How not to be stopped out? Or how to be stopped out less? All right. That's the trick, everybody. If you are... Sammy saying, yes, we can short the market stop loss above the take profit. And the blue. All right, everybody, we're going to join the, the two things, all right? So this is the trick. If my stop loss on the four hour chart is at 109.812, all right. Of course, this is much easier on trading view, and we can go on trading view too, right? Because Lucas Cop is using trading view. Lucas Cop is using trading view too. Give it a second. Give it a year. After 200 years, finally, trading view is going to open some charts. After 200 years. All right, so. Euro dollar double click and if you go here right and remove drawings and our Fibonacci I believe it's from here to here right 10885 10885 one oh 
Uh, that one? 109. Oh, very good. There you go. Okay, everybody, that's the trick. So you are on the four hour chart and it's much easier on trading view. You put a horizontal line on the four hour chart and you right click and sync in layout. And now you go on the weekly chart. Now you go on the weekly chart and you can see from the weekly chart what's the probability of the market stopping you out on the A on the 4 hour chart great trick huh yeah that's the front of Fibonacci mastery this stop loss this stop loss, it's quite good. It's low probability on the four hour chart. It's low probability because we are, we are in a downtrend. The market's making lower lows, lower highs. So before the market stops you out on the four hour chart, it must break this past resistance in here. So the stop loss on the 4 hour chart it's quite safe based on what we see but there are some sometimes you know we have stop loss in dangerous levels compared to the higher time frames again this is just a trick make sense now from the daily that's the crown this is from the morning sessions it's also looking here the four hour a equals to the daily confirmation I mean it's daily contrarian right because the original it's up but it's at the same level as this one so there is a low probability everybody if you go back to JForex, there is low probability that the market is going to go all the way back up. It can happen, but not seven times out of ten. Does this make sense? Seven times out of ten, the market is going to reach some past resistance level. And it's going to reverse and it's going to continue to fall based on my opinion. How can we trade Dukas Copy through trading view? You can't. I'm just I'm just saying that Dukas Copy is using trading view in their analysis. But you can tr you, you can trade J Forex through Trading View. All right. All right, Sam. You can't. So going back to the weekly chart. We're going to short the market, stop loss, take profit at the blue, stop loss above the A, shorting right now, stop loss above the A, and take profit at the blue. Do you see, everybody, do you see anything wrong in this plan? What's wrong with this plan, everybody? 
there is something wrong forex course 101 it's all about the market forex course 202 it's all about how institutional traders make money different way of understanding the markets different way of understanding the trading business different understanding of strategies but we are in the forex course 101 it's all about the market and how this market works we are learning the fibonacci we are learning that the market is going to follow the fibonacci sequence we are learning that Fibonacci has a tradable edge from the daily and above it has a 7 times out of 10 edge meaning it's going to win 7 times out of 10 talking about the original Fibonacci what's wrong with this picture? If you do this just once, it's not a big deal. If you continuously do this, unless you learn advanced risk management strategies... Boss, what do you mean? Well, in the Forex Course 101, we are learning that we are going to enter here shorting the market and we are going to enter just once agreed that's the idea on any time frames you have a counter trend line break bearish candlestick formation talking about the fibonacci stop loss above the a and you are going to do one entry one trade all right but with this picture there is something wrong What's wrong with this picture? If you get in a habit of doing this, then we are going to have some problems in the Forex course 202. What's the bad habit in here? Can you see it everybody? What's the bad habit? This could be the 1 hour chart, 2 hour chart, 4 hour chart, daily chart. What am I doing wrong as an analyst right now? I'm not a trader yet. You become a trader in the Forex course 202. So I'm an analyst everybody. And I'm telling to my traders or to my trader let's short euro dollar right now stop loss above the a take profit at the blue the trader is going to get back at me and is going to yell at me are you crazy you cannot trade like this and i'm going to sell well i'm i'm, I'm just an analyst you know <laughs> I'm just an analyst, you know, I'm, I'm talking about direction, you know. And the trader is going to tell me, yeah, sure, you, you shorting euro dollar, all right, but talking about stop loss and take profit, you better stay quiet, you better be quiet. You better shut your mouth. And I'm going to say, oh, you know, I'm sorry. What's the issue in here? Come on everybody, this is a no-brainer. You are, you, yes, but in the advanced course you are going to learn, or in the Fibonacci mastery course, you are going to learn different risk management strategies. But if I have one entry and I enter here with the full risk, I'm going to risk 1% in here or half percent in here or 2% in here, something it's not quite right. 
What's that? Any idea, YouTubers, student traders on YouTube? What's an issue? So I'm going to delete this one, I'm going to delete this one, delete this one. I'm going to I'm going to put the risk on the side of the profit, alright? Now, can you see it? That's the plan. This is what we're going to do. That's the plan. Shorting the market in here, stop loss above in here, take profit down in here. That's the plan. What's wrong with the plan? It's not profitable. Why not? Why it's not profitable? Everybody, you have two words you must learn. Risk reward ratio. Risk reward ratio, it's not. Risk reward ratio. All right. If you do one trade like this, it's no, it's okay, you know, it's not a big deal. But if you do this over and over and over again, and we take a deep dive in the Forex course too, too about risk, how to understand risk. Most traders that are not professional don't really understand risk. Especially retail traders don't understand the risk. You need to understand risk, everybody. Make sense? We take a deep dive in the Forex course 202 with the understanding that different strategies work in a different way, different ways, you know. But if I'm risking two to get one, or if I'm risking three to get one, one loser is going to eat two or three of my profits. Does this make sense to you? Boss, can you repeat please? If you are risking more than you are making, Forex course 101 conversation, so one loser on the one hour chart, two hour chart, four hour chart is going to eat two or three of your profitable trades. Does this make sense? They are different risk strategies that you can do this. But again, one more time, I don't want to repeat myself too much. You are going to learn this in the Forex course 202 or the Fibonacci mastery. Ali says risk is hard and reward, sure. But again, everybody, you know, if, 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 you, if, the, if you do one trade, it's all right. It's not a big deal. So you need to check upon yourself if you are doing this constantly. And there is a very easy way to check. You need to go to your MetaTrader account. Everybody, what is the indication? All right. Everybody, do you want me to be nice to you or do you want me to tell you the truth? What do you want? Do you want me to be nice to you? We have five more minutes. Or do you want me to tell you the truth? What, what do you prefer? <laughs> oh, I want to be nice. Nobody wants to see to hear the truth?
should be nice, should be nice. Come on, nobody wants to hear the truth. Alright, so I'm not going to tell you the truth. I'm going to give you the homework. Homework. Check your account history. And if you find out that your average average winner is smaller than the average loser then you could have risk reward ratio issues or you are not letting you don't let or you don't let the winners run and you are taking small winners, which is exactly the same. Homework, check your account history and if you find that your average winner is smaller then your average loser then you could have risk reward issues or you don't let the winners run and you are taking small winners which is exactly the same you know you have the Fibonacci this is the market you've entered here you know that's the plan you are going to risk one to make two that's the plan, alright, that's the plan, you're going to risk one to make two, but then because then the market scares you and you get out in here. Yeah, maybe it's too exaggerated, let's make another example, maybe you get out in here, alright, for any reason, you get out in here. So this was the plan, but what you what you executed was this one. Good plan. Good plan. R r risking less than you. I mean, the reward is bigger than the risk. Good plan. But the execution with the execution, what you do in reality, you are still risking more than you are making. You are taking small profits when the market gives you a little bit of money, but when the market goes against you, you are just there and you are sitting and watching and sitting and watching and praying and oh with the market's going to reverse please god help me <laughs> you know and make sense everybody taking small profits you have a risk reward ratio issue what's the difference all right Taking small profits, you have a risk-reward ratio issue. The difference is that here is the risk-reward, it's an issue on the planning side of the trade. Here the risk-reward risk -reward ratio, it's an issue on the execution side of the trade. And that's the truth. And after this beautiful sermon, everybody, this is the boss giving you the homework, right? All right, everybody, see you back tomorrow. Until tomorrow, stay strong and trade the Fibonacci like a boss because you are the boss of your account. And this is.